can our emotions lead us to help other people? How can our own emotional state contribute to or explain our pro-social behavior? And remember, pro-social behavior is when you are helping, assisting other people. Well, sometimes we do it because knowing that people are in distress, that people are in a bad situation where they are in danger, where they need help in some way, you feel badly knowing that, hearing about it. You have a negative emotional state. Your negative emotional state is unpleasant and you want to ease your own negative emotions. So one way to make you feel less blech, you know, less negative, one way to ease your unpleasant emotional state is to help the person so then they're not in danger or they're not in the undesirable situation anymore and now you feel better. You don't have to feel bad for that person if you have helped them. So it's kind of a selfish motivation for pro-social behavior. So this leads us to the negative state relief model. The negative state relief model basically proposes that we help because we want to relieve our own negative emotional experience. We want to make the negative emotions go away. So seeing another person in need causes us emotional distress. We don't like emotional distress. We want to get rid of it. So helping decreases those negative emotions and that's why we do it. Or that's one reason that we do it. That's one reason we help those individuals. So Sometimes behaviors that seem like they are strictly pure altru altru um, altruism, all right, you know, the certain, certain compound sounds, I get stuck in, stuck in my teeth here, altruism. All right, with altruism, you have pure altru altruism because that's when you help just because it's the right thing to do and because uh, you get nothing in return. And then there's egoistic altruism where you're getting something out of it. Well, this negative state relief model shows us that sometimes actions can seem like pure altruism, but perhaps not. Perhaps they are not pure altruism. They are done to benefit you by reducing your negative emotions, by freeing you of that negative emotional state. All right, um, from research. Research on the negative state relief model. Um, when we look at people's mood, their emotional state, negative moods do not increase helping per se. So that's sort of a, a kink in the armor, a flaw in the idea, perhaps. Uh, but feelings of sadness and guilt, sadness and guilt, specific experiences, specific emotions, sadness and guilt increase compliance when someone directly asks for help. All right. So this is not help in general. And this is not all negative mood. All right. So someone specifically says, I need help. I'm requesting your help when someone directly asks for help. Like, you know there are people in the world who are living in poverty or who don't have money for a variety of reasons. They are, they do not have a home. They don't know where their next meal is coming from. They need money. And sometimes that's just the situation. You know about it. It might make you feel unpleasant, but maybe you don't do anything about it. But there are times where maybe you're at the gas station and someone walks right up to you looking like they're starving and telling you, I haven't eaten in three days. I'm desperate. Can you please lend me some money for lunch? In that situation, you may feel sadness or guilt, you know, guilt because you're like, oh, that I feel, I feel guilty that no one has helped you, that I have more than you, uh, or sadness. I feel sad that this person is experiencing this. And so those sorts of emotions, they do make it more likely that you will comply with that request. All right. So the important thing here is feeling sadness and guilt and there was a direct request. People don't always ask for help when they need it. All right, so that is a different situation. And then sometimes when I use this example, some students would be like, you should never give money to those people. Or that it's an example. <laughs> we are not talking about the issue of, of giving money to individuals. Uh, we're using that as an example. 